God is good, is greatly to be praised. Amen. He's a wonderful God. Amen. And I'm giving him thanks and praise for his goodness, his mercies, and his blessings. Um, I'm really glad to be joining you tonight, and this is a wonderful way of us giving glory to God. And Jesus says, where two or three are gathered together, in his, in his, in his name, he will be there in the midst. And um, thank God for the scripture, um, which is taken from, I think is. First John chapter four. Yes. Um, First John chapter four. Yes, I think I had it here somewhere. First John chapter four. Oh my God, yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. I had it here somewhere, but it's lost it. I'm coming back to it now. But it's a wonderful scripture. Um, now, um, Pastor McGann mentioned about, you know, what the Lord has done for him. And I think, you know, God is so good. And I may have to share a similar testimony, you know, of what God has done. You know, um, many years ago, I went to Jamaica, leaving England, I went to Jamaica. And God worked such a miracle for me that I had one of the best job I could ever think of. You know, just leaving this country and going to Jamaica in 1980 it was a wonderful thing. And I was blessed. There is a verse in St. John chapter 4. Um, no, sorry, it's taken from Samuel. So, yeah. There is a verse in Samuel that I would like us to look at. Um, this is the part when um, David um, committed sin against God. And um, Nathan the prophet came to him and told him, you know, what happened to this good man, this poor man who had one sheep and this man who had many sheep. And then there's just something I'd like to bring out in Second Samuel, Samuel chapter, Second Samuel chapter 12, verse 7. It says, And Nathan said unto David, Thou art the man. The Lord, the Lord said the Lord, God of Israel, I anoint thee king over Israel. I deliver thee out of the hand of Saul. I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's servant. And you know, for us to understand the love of God, we if we know how much God loves us, because he said to David, he said to David, I give you your master's house and his master's wife and into thy bosom, and I give you the house of Israel and Judah. And it says, and Nathan said unto David, Thou art the man. The Lord, the Lord, said the Lord, God of Israel, I anoint thee king over Israel. I deliver thee out of the hand of Saul. I gave thee thy master's house, and thy master's servant into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I am moreover would have given you such things and such things. The, the thought that came to me on this scripture is that uh, also our pastor Winston rightly said that God worked a miracle and gave him that wonderful job in a, a special job because God loved him. Yes. Because God loved him. And you know for us to understand the love of God we if we know how much God love us because he said to David he said to David, I give you your master's house and his master's wife and into thy bosom, and I give you the house of Israel and Judah. And if that was too little, I would moreover have given you such and such. God, God love for us. God will give us the world. And, you know, as you mentioned, um, Pastor Winston, God love you. God opened those doors for you. And if we was too little, he would have given you the whole world. Yes. God would have given you the whole world. This is what he was saying to David. Even though David transgressed, but through humility, he knew the humility David had that he would repent and beg God for mercy. God knew that. And God showed him, put him in the light and showed him the love that he had for him. 
took him from looking after sheep. Imagine. He was the least in his father's house. Yes. And God took him from looking after sheep. You know, back home, if you know that the people used to tend to go out and they're going to feel come back, they always start to sweat up and all sorts of things and them look nasty and dirty and them clothes, them sweat up and things, whatever. But, them, you know, you look rugged, rugged. That's what David was, he was rugged. But the love of God poured out on him. And gave him everything that he could want. And even even we gave him all that, all that. He said, I would have given you such and such. I would even give you more. Yes. So, Pastor Winston, I'm saying this is the love of God. Yes. And this is why we have to love him. Yes. Imagine how many people could have got that job that you got. Yes. And he took you and put you in that job because he know your heart. He know you love him. Yeah. Even before you show it, he knows it. Yeah. And so he said, I will give you this and that, such things, everything. I will give you everything. I will give you the world. Yeah. And that's what God's yeah. saying to us when we love him. God is telling us he would give us the world. Yeah. He would give us the world. And as he mentioned, that, I just add my testimony because... I had one of the be best jobs in the parish when I got there. Um, I worked with um, the wife of Errol Flynn. Some of you may know Errol Flynn. He was an actor who played, um, I think he played Robin, Robin Hood. Yeah, Robin Hood. He played Robin Hood in the, in the, in the 70s. Very popular he was. And I, I worked with his wife for five years. He had 3,000 acres of farm. And I got a job as a clerk in that job on that farm. And I went up. I started, to be honest with you, getting forty dollars a week. And when I left there, I was getting forty one hundred fourteen hundred dollars a week. So it shows you what God can do for us, brethren. It shows you what God can how God can bless us. And I, I witnessed that myself, um, Pastor Winston. That's why I had to bring this word to show you. And there was a time, as a time, in when I was in that time, well, there in Jamaica, and I felt that I could achieve anything. There's just a spirit of achievement came upon me. Yes. That I felt that I could achieve anything. The spirit of achievement came upon me. And I don't know, I just felt like, you know, you just felt like you was a prince. You know, that feeling that you could yes. command everything. Yes. And I left that job um, after five years and I went into another job, which was a very good job as well. I was a, a villa manager and a hotel assistant manager. And I did that job again for five years. Mm. Place in San San. I built a, 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 a hotel in San San called Fernhill Club. I was there for five years, assistant manager and hotel man, assistant hotel manager, and I was the villa manager, where I handled about about maybe about fifteen properties, villas that most were owned by overseas, um, owned by overseas owners. They were all from overseas owners. But I was managing for about five years. Amen. Leave that job. And I had a very good job again after that. Working at the Port Antonio Marina. I did that one for two years. I was the manager of Port Antonio Marina. I'm not boasting. I'm not boasting. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying that God knows how to bless us. And I'm not. I'm not it is, everything is to the glory of God. Because. It shows you the love of God, that the love that God has for us. It's like we love our children. We would give them anything, you know, that is right, that is, you know that they need. And God's love is far, far extend our love. And I realize the love of God, and that's why I, I truly love God. I love God. Because I've seen the love of God shown to me. So... Pastor Winston, God love us. 
He loves us. He loves us with great love. And it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful word, you know, that um, in, in Saint, um, John chapter 4. It's, it's, it's in John chapter 4, isn't it? Yeah, 1 John. Oh, 1 John, I was looking at, yeah, no, I was looking at Saint John chapter 4, sorry. It's 1 John chapter 4, I know I had it here. Um, yeah, 1 John chapter 4. He says, ye are of God, little children, verse 4, and have overcome the world. We are of God, and we have overcome the world. And First Seven says, "Beloved, love you. Let us love one another, for God is love, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that love, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love." Amen. We must know if we have love in our hearts, because God is love. If we have love in our heart, we know we have God because God is love. The devil cannot love. Evil cannot love. Evil and love and hate don't go together. No. So when we love each other, and that, that, the, the power, there's a power in love that we don't realize how powerful love is. We don't. The Bible says love covers a multitude of a multitude of sin yes, it does. you know so that, that, that if we unite in love it is that there's nothing that we can't accomplish Amen. Amen. love is the key beloved let us love one another Amen. pastor winston mr cassie i love you <laughs> sister claire mills i love you Rose, sister rose i love you i have the love of god <laughs> I, God is love. I love you. I love you. Yes. I, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. God is love. God is love. Amen. Love. Amen. Love. We have to have the love of God. The love of God. There's power in love. There's a power in love. People believe that there's power in hate, but there's no power in hate. Hate is weak. Wickedness is weak. Sin is weak. They have no strength. No power. No. Power is in love, my brethren. Amen. The more we love, is the greater we, the greater we are before God. Amen. Because it, when everything else fail, love will never fail. There's no limit to love. Love is not limited. It's unlimited. It has no boundaries. No. It makes us free, free like the bird in the sky. Nothing can, nothing can cover love, can capture love, or cover love. Comprehend love. We cannot comprehend love. Love is God. Yes. Fill the universe. Yes. My God, God is good, my brethren. It's good to be with you, and I love the fellowship. May we long continue to have this fellowship. Amen. God bless Praise you. God. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.